tried to pretend that this is my home, so welcome. Make yourself feel comfortable. There's a room for you in the back. Good morning, everyone. So we have been camping up in the White Mountains, and this has kind of become a tradition where every May for my birthday, this is my request. This is how I want to celebrate my birthday. It's come up here and camp. We have a special spot that has the best of everything. It has, of course, this beautiful homestead, and it has these beautiful, expansive meadows and springs and aspen and fir trees, and it's just under 9,000 feet. And it's just, oh man, it feels so good to be here. There's something, meadows are my, my favorite thing. I just love the openness and the grandness and just the expanse of it. And it just satisfies my soul really deeply. I really like to be here. Dot's exploring the house for the first time. She looks a little un uncertain. Doesn't get much better than that. Hey, Fig. Would you like to come in the house? He's like, meh. <laughs> I'm not really interested. Anyways, so I think I'm going to go back to camp and have breakfast. And then we're going to go to a lake, do a little hiking, and then pack up camp and then go see my mom, who lives about an hour and a half away from here. So we're going to spend one night with her and and my stepdad and hang out and eat good food and play games. Yeah. Dot really looks up to Fig. He's he has taken the the role of big brother and she follows him around everywhere. But this time he went really far because he knows there's water there. And she followed him initially and then stopped and turned around and looked back at us like, "Um, this is really far. Are you sure we should go?" And then she decided, okay, I'll follow Fig. It was really sweet. Yeah. But she didn't take too long and came running as fast as her little legs could carry her up the hill and back yeah. to us. Hi, Dad. <laughs> and we, of course, had little Bean with us, and he enjoyed running around, although he does not like going walking during the day, especially when it's really open aired. He's, he feels very vulnerable. He is very vulnerable and exposed. So he's like, let's go back to the woods. And he tried to make a beeline for it. But Dot, uh, of course, was, was thinking he was playing and was chasing him around and kind of hurting him. Anyways, we got to do some reading in the sun. And then we went to my parents and had a wonderful time with them hanging out and sitting on their back porch just enjoying enjoying the beautiful weather and having nice conversations and playing games and then brian and i decided to go out on a morning walk with the dogs and we were enjoying this little meadow where there was a spring and some water and lots of dandelions and iris and we suddenly saw these horses 
Now up here, there is, there are a few wild herds of horses, some of which more recently have developed and some of which may have started in the 1800s. Who knows where these horses came from and what their origins are. But they came down and we had one of the most magical, <laughs> spectacular, ugh, I can't believe we were so lucky moments. So they came and they investigated us. Fig did great. He of course was curious and a little uncertain and the horses were curious and a little uncertain, but they kept coming towards us and we just stood there in awe. These were all males. They seemed to be related. They're all obviously all very similar in color, but they differ in stature just a little bit. One was more slight and gracile, and another one was really hefty and beefy and had massive muscles. Another one was a little bit rounder and softer, and they all had very different personalities. The one with the who was the beefiest of them all, the big blaze right there on his forehead, was the most uh, interested in, in investigating us. And in fact, he's the one that Brian got to say that. hello to. Oh, Brian. I thought this was really magical. This is like Brian's, one of his greatest dreams. <laughs> and here he is being a horse whisperer and it was just so magical to get to witness. I don't know how long we, we all hung out together. Dot was a little uncertain, so I was actually sitting on the grass holding her back because she was kind of like making little grunty, growly noises. But in the end, I was able to let her go and she was nice and calm and kept her distance. Fig lost interest really quick and just laid in the grass. But man, that was so spectacular. And that's it. I will leave you with that. I just wanted to come in and say hello. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching.